Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to do brown beef Guyanese style. So I have here about two and a half pounds of beef that I cut into small cubes, um, one medium sized tomato, two green onion chopped fine, and I'm using one and a half large onion, uh, one tablespoon of uh, casrip. This is 100% pure casrip, so it's a lot thicker than the store-bought one, so you may have to use a little bit more if you're using the one that you buy in the store. Um, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of green seasoning. The green seasoning is optional. Um, you're going to need one teaspoon of black pepper, one and a half teaspoon of salt, and I have uh, an onion and garlic uh, mixture that's been blended up together. We're going to use half of this. So to do the blended up seasoning, I'm using two um, medium sized onion and six cloves of garlic. And I'm going to do it in a blender. So I added a little bit of water to the blender to help everything blend together. So to season the meat, go ahead and add in the, uh, the tomato and the green onion. I'm going to add in half of the onion and garlic mixture. And then the one tablespoon of green seasoning. Black pepper. And a one and a half teaspoon of salt. And then mix everything together. And just let this sit on the counter for about Half an hour to an hour, let it marinate a little bit. So now while the meat is marinating, I want to go ahead and slice up the onion. So in the instant pot, add about two tablespoons of oil and give it about a few, a few uh, seconds, let the oil get hot and then we're going to add in the onion. Now we're going to put the lid on, uh, let us rest the lid on and we're going to let the onion sweat and caramelize. So. You don't want to stir this often so the onion don't burn. So it's been cooking now for about 8 minutes now. Now on the instant pot it said hot, which means that the pot is now too hot um, to keep caramelizing the onion. So I'm going to add in a little bit of water. So to cool the pot down so then we can continue the browning pot. So I've been cooking for about 13 minutes now and you can see it get a nice brown color so now we're going to add in the beef.
And then we're gonna add in the one tablespoon of soy sauce. And the one tablespoon of casrip. Now we're going to leave this uncovered and let it cook for a bit. So it's been cooking for about 25 minutes now and the whatever liquid that the beef had let out you want to let that dry out completely and almost let it fry up a bit and then we're going to go ahead and add in some hot water. So you're going to add just enough to cover the beef, not too much and we're going to pressure this. So you're going to cancel and you're going to pressure cook for 15 minutes. So you're going to do a 15 minute pressure with a 10 minute slow release. So it's finished pressure so I'm going to put it back on to saute and it's basically done. So all you're going to do now is just let the liquid dry down to the consistency that you want and I hope you guys enjoy.